You're gonna do it today, babe? Well, if you procrastinate, that makes it seem like me up here is procrastinating, so. All right, I'm gonna give you the grace to do this. And that's really what I've been um, waiting for. Um, first of all, little prodigals, you need to be looking at your life like you are walking in the midst of the dry part of the waters that were being upheld by my mighty right hand. <clears throat> and you have just walked through it. Those waters have since came down on your enemies. <laughs> So the enemies you once saw before, you will see no more, per scripture. <clears throat> and then what I said yesterday, <clears throat> therefore say unto them, thus saith the Lord God, the Lord God, the Lord God, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord God. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divinations, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have you not seen a vain vision, and have you not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, the Lord saith it, albeit I have not spoken. So my decision on that, <clears throat> those that prayed and told my people they were not following Jesus when they actually were very dear to my heart and remain dear to my heart. Whatever they spoke against you is currently happening to them. Do not fear. This has to happen so that they understand they were deceived and that was not me. There was a familiar spirit, false Holy Spirit, Everything that I've said, you can look back. When I say a year ago, I said this. You can go through the videos to the exact day last year, and you'll see this face and this voice. It's right in front of me, and he's saying, like a warning. It's like he's actually caring and loving me so that I but here we are <clears throat> so the grace for your marriage is going to be necessary because as I stated the war happened in the heavens now when I say heavens that second heaven that many of you got stuck in now you are with me up here in the third heaven. <clears throat> they lost. So the enemies that would have prevented your progression, where I'm sending you and where I'm placing you, are no longer there. So nothing's going to obstruct my plans for you.
being serious sometimes is uh, necessary because something is always occurring in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus, 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 me, answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give them, I shall give, shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, upbringing and springing up into everlasting life. <clears throat> So the water that is going to come up under the feet of my people, because you're going to come out of this spectacularly. Living water, everlasting water. I'm going to place you right where you're supposed to be. <clears throat> because God needs... There has to be two of us to glorify each other. And then from that glory, we win people over to our side. So everywhere you go, you'll have somebody with the testimony of, yes, Jesus is amazing. Why do you think I'm talking about him? And it'll be done the proper way. And what I do with my prophets is I sit down with them and it's like I go into a tea party in the backyard. Okay, <clears throat> what are we doing here? All right, Dad, this is your part and this is what I'm doing. Okay, so everything is going to be amazing for you. Your dream spouse is my creation for you. So now that your enemies have been subdued, and I had said before, pursue, 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 for you shall recover it all. Everybody got their confirmation and their um, little token of my esteem yesterday. That's just a token of what's coming. What we're doing, um, preparing for our weddings is many I have felt, Lord, I believe it's going to happen. I see it happening. I see the videos. I see your prophets talking about it. But what if that's not for me? Do you know who your kingdom spouse is? Yeah, then it is for you. Many of my um, prodigals in this season of grace that will not be lasting much longer, <clears throat> they have that grace so they can get back to their kingdom spouses, so they can get back to you. They have to have come to the conclusion and there's been more than sufficient time so that they can't be in any other mindset of <clears throat> the heart postured back towards me. This is God's will. I want my life built on the rock. And I wanted them to come back. licking the dust under your feet, like the scripture said, appreciative of you, respectful of you, wanting to make it work with you more than wanting to make their own self happy with their life. So it's all crashing down in a beautiful wave of love. All right. <clears throat> One more time.
Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. And then, like I had said, it's going to be about your testimony. So prodigals will have an amazing testimony. Kingdom spouses have an amazing testimony. All solidifying your union. And then you understanding how seriously God takes marriage. And that's necessary in order to have marriages that do what you have done, which is that chain that was in your family that did not have someone um, being the necessary representative of your tribe. Because <clears throat> that's how expansive your dominion, your prominence, and your authority is going to stretch to come to me, <clears throat> who is me up here, with your questions and your um, petitions before the throne. So your access was based on the undeniable love that you have displayed for the Father, who is me. And that is something that you value because it is a desire of your heart. So since you have loved me with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul, all of your strength, then your next step is okay. Now, love your spouse the same. Now, love the people that I send you the same. And that's a whole different um, part of me you get to know, because then you see how I shepherd. <clears throat> and the wisdom that you carry, no one can teach you how to walk with me. You have to walk with me to know how to walk with me. And for those that are genuinely trying, you'll be able to tell. So you'll be using your time more efficiently. You will be doing a lot of good work. You will be blessed and highly favored throughout your generations. And you have reconnected that uh, link in the chain to your heavenly father in the third heaven. You are a direct connection <clears throat> spiritually. And that can't be broken. So <clears throat> when we're having all of these weddings and all of this is happening, you're going to see them monumentally, monumentally, monumentally coinciding with events across the earth, uh, things that are happening in your life, not other people's lives, because they have to take the same walk and learn the same lessons that you had the courage to take. So rejoice in that. And understand, your spouse is a blessing. Whatever hardships or fears you may think are awaiting you are not. You have my grace, my protection, my strength, my understanding, my wisdom. 
and you have someone that seeks the same. So they will gain it from you. You will gain it from them. Husbands will be helping their wives be stronger women of God. Wives will be helping their husbands be stronger men of God. And as long as you remain teachable, then you will be able to understand <clears throat> the concepts that you already know, but in the natural, you will see what was happening in the spiritual, in your household and wherever you go. You are going to shine and you are already set apart. So now me reintroducing you, you're an entirely different person. Remember that. Your spouse will see you different and you will be home. You will feel whole again. So yes, this is going to happen for you. I've been feeling you. Many of my prophets, that's how they um, begin before they press record. They are either feeling what everybody is feeling who is connected to the Father. <clears throat> and then for a split second, they're understanding because they get a picture, they get my words, and they display verbally what I am saying about it. So this church is um, exactly how we always wanted it to be. <clears throat> and it is perfect. Available for you. Free of charge. And for you. I love you.